Here we go, yo, 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 what up, though, Rizzo, Rizzo, cutting up. What's it's good? hot, it's hot, TSL business, Rizzo, Rizzo, cutting up. Yeah. Flavor God himself, man. Yes, sir, man. How you been, man? Blessed, man. Blessed. Hey, man. For pre- anything God, we put God first. Blessed, dripping sauce. Hey, for sure, man. Just welcome to a mogul state of mind, man. This is our first time sitting down. We definitely want to catch the classic track. interview here, boy. Yeah, man. So you know what? Usually I go through the whole build up in the story. I'm gonna do something a little different. I gotta address the elephant in the room. <coughs> Where has Rizzo Rizzo been, man? Rizzo just disappeared since that say cheese interview. Man, I ain't I ain't disappeared. I just got my life in order, man. As I tell any young man out there in the world to do, man. You feel me? Anybody that want to be a rapper, whatever you want to do in your dreams, if you don't have your life in order, you need to do that first before you chase your dream. You know what I'm saying? Because, and I, I never took a, like I said, talking to Boogie, I never was saying as when we take L's in life, not saying as money wise, as like mental, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, like with your family, you feel me? So I felt like I was taking L's on being around shit that matter more than just music. Even though music helps me and, and, and funds my life, you know what I'm saying? Cause shit, I'm one of the niggas that say I wanna be a rapper. I wanna be a rapper. I ain't the niggas that rapping and say, man, I ain't, I ain't no rapper. I ain't <laughs> one of those. I wanna be a rapper. I wanna do big shit. See yeah. what I'm saying? But for me to do big shit, I gotta make sure I'm stably fundable by myself, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm independent artist, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not one of them niggas that can run to the labels and ask for some money for a budget for something. So I had to get my life in order before, you know, that was it. I didn't wanna get my life in order. What do you what do you say to people that say, man, after Rizzo got robbed, he disappeared? Did did that have a lot to do with you kind of just taking a step back? Hell yeah. I wanna go sit here and say it didn't, it did. Because as me as a man, if you know fuck Rizzo, if you know Lil Ray Ray, Ray Ray, they had a chip tooth. You know what I'm saying? If you from Northside Houston, Texas, they know that man ain't never been no type of hoe ass, ducking no fades. I got if I let's stop right there. If I fought Maxo Cream, that's probably two hundred pounds bigger than me. Will you think I'm scared to fight or stand up for myself in any other situation? Put that together. Yeah. So as that, I know that I and this being a street situation, man. I'm just not type of nigga to run to no streets. I'm just gonna handle it outside of the streets and however that goes, that's how that goes. We put it in go hand. See what I'm saying? So yeah, it has something to do with it. So that made me turn into more drugs and me turning into more drugs made me just give a fuck about life. You know what I'm saying? Because I was depressed as because depressed as because a nigga playing with me and I can't do what I know what I do as see what I'm saying? So yeah. I know as that I was just fucked up in the mind and I was in a bad place of mind. So feel me, I'm not the type of nigga just to I wasn't giving up, so I was like, fuck it, man, let me try something different, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to my brother Nunu and Danny, they made me start working out. And that working out made me just transfer trans a big transformation in my life as for just everything. And that's why I say, like, you know, like it some people say it take a lot of other discipline, like going to the army or going down there doing time and shit like that. But I can say it took me to start just being disciplined in the gym to like understand and really know life better. You know what I'm saying? So that's all it was. And I, I say thank you for the whole situation because the situation woke me up. After okay, look, my situation happened. RP to all the fallen soldiers. After my situation, y'all, it was a fucking domino effect from King Bun, from Mo3, from everybody to, to what's going now, to Strap, everybody now. And so what all I can say is, man, I was blessed for my situation to be what it was because I'm still here in front of the camera. I ain't one of the niggas that said, that could say that. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. here. So, hey, I take that over anything else. See what I'm saying? So, hey. And then look at it. Even my brother Walt just been in a situation like this. So it can happen, y'all. It's just what it is. You feel me? It's roaches out here under creeps and crarians that ain't getting it how we getting it. And they just, they just, you know, they shit happens, y'all. Shit. It happens. I know a lot of big dope boys that shit happened to, man. I know a lot of shit happened to, I ain't, it happened to Quavos. It happened to everybody, the biggest, y'all. So you feel me? Look, he's still Quavo to who he is today. And nobody even remember that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it happens. Thank you for it, though. Shit, it woke me up. Where we at shooting this motherfucking uh, interview? Hey, man, you let me know. What, what do you name this place? The Goblin High. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have none of this before. You know what I'm saying? So thank you. You know what I'm saying? Shit. <laughs> On blood. 